this fucker. You got me? There you go. Okay. Tell me when you're ready. Uh, you got it. Okay. So we've finished reassembling all the internal components of the fixture. We're going to put the body back together. I have a bug flying around my head. Real fast. Can you get that guy? Smack him down. Okay. So, again, you need to be very cautious that if you removed the body housing with the screws still in, get that guy right there. If you remove the body housing with the screws still in there, you want to be careful when you pick it up that you don't go flinging those screws everywhere. So we're going to knock them out here. As it applies to where the vent fans go, which side they're on, it's my understanding that the side that has the open, unobstructed vent fan needs to go on the side with the fan. Seems pretty logical, right? So we'll go ahead and reapply that to the body. And go ahead and put those screws back in. Flip it around, and again we're going to reinstall the other side. And again, got to be careful of those screws. Put up here. You got to be careful. Make sure you don't lose any. When you put it on, you want to make sure that the top of your lens has that little bit of lip. It's going to sit right on top of this ring portion at the top. Right on top. Same deal. Reapplying the screws. Okay. Now we've reassembled our fixture. Now we're going to go ahead and turn them on. Now we already have DMX hooked up and running for this fixture so that we can make sure we can test it from there. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you that. Plug the fixture in, turn on the power, where he's going to go through his whole home cycle and rerun through and recalibrate all the internal components. So we're going to let him run. If you get to a point where your fixture is really wigging out and getting super jittery or it just starts dragging or it's catching on something, you should probably stop what you're doing, shut the power off, open it back up, make sure nothing's sticking out or binding where it shouldn't be. That way you'll know. We'll turn off this light here so that we'll be able to actually see our fixture's output once it's re -hung. Now, you're probably already familiar, but they take a good bit. And just like that, I'll point it over here so you can see on the wall. New diode, better output. Right like that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you replace the LED diode on the Shave Q-Spot 260 LED. Good luck.